Hello everybody and welcome to today's reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to Sabaton, Christmas Truce. Um, so, hopefully you can see um, Backstreet Gent Brett on your screen. So I'm going to share with you the comments as to why we are reacting to this particular song. So, let's have a look. At the bottom of the screen here. It says, I gave you guys a like because I like your video and I would like you guys to react to Sabaton Christmas Truce, the official music video. I'm pretty sure it will blow your mind and the story and music video is awesome. Um, so we know a, a little bit about Sabaton. We've listened to one of their albums, which was about the First World War. So we know that all of the stuff they do is pretty much war related. Um, so... It's called Christmas Truce. So again, I'm expected it to be about, you know, the war, truce during the war. So, um, you looking forward to it, Brett? Yeah, so from my guessing understanding, so this is probably back from the first world where famous um, truce was done on Christmas Day right. uh, during the first world war. And the rumours, well not rumours, I think what probably happened the England had a match with Germany. They had, they had a football match on um, No Man's Land um, on Christmas Day. So if there was any fun day, they had a football match between themselves, which is an amazing sort of thing, you know, one of the bloodiest wars at that time, at that point. And just for one day or one after, I know, just to say no fight and, and play a football match <laughs> in the middle of the battlefield, which is quite incredible in some regards. And then to think, the next day, back to yeah. where it was, yeah. <laughs> but that's as, as far as I know. I don't think there's more to it than that. It was just, uh, yeah. So, but that's the the what I know about the Christmas truce. If that's if it's this is if this is the same one, what is which it? I'm assuming it probably will be. It says there, Western Front, 1914. Yeah, so I'll be yeah, back in the First World War then. So it would be this one. Can you see the screen? Yeah, can indeed, yeah. Okay, if you can't hear it, Brett, let me know. But I, I think I put the sound on um, for you. Okay, let's go. But fa thanks for the history lesson as well. That's interesting. I, I didn't know about that personally. I'm not. I'm not as not so knowledgeable with history in the First World War and stuff like that. So, yeah, should we crack on? Yeah, let's go for it. So, yeah, so, you know, it's a pretty deep start, isn't it? You see all these dead people there, like, you know, lying there, kind of just, again, showing the, you know, true effects of, of war. Um, you got anything to say? Um, no, obviously, yeah, you know, it's, it's very deep, and since so I don't think we could ever really properly imagine what it would have been like. I was just thinking, when the guys who were acting that first bit, they, do you think they're probably the band members of Avicii Sabaton? Well, that, that that would be for for our viewers to to tell us. <laughs> That's okay, I'll sort of comment on that one, see yeah. if they were acting in that, that little scene there. That would be interesting to know. Okay, let's crack on.
field And we were used to the violence Then all the candles went silent And the snow fell Voices sang to me from no man's land In a war that never ends Today we're all brothers We drink and unite So obviously talking about today they're all brothers They drink and unite um, So you think they're going to Partake in a football match? Is that what you're expecting? Well I, I don't know if that was the sort of, if that was the sort of case But I think that's one of the things they sort of did of the There but I think it was just a case of so, but if, if they do go into a match that'd be great to didn't want to do that. But I think the, the main was the FCA. Yeah, they were just going to yeah, not be fighting each other. listen to Sabaton it, for me music's only like a small the actual song itself do I like the song like the actual sound of it's only kind of part of it it's, it's just you kind of get so into the kind of the story of it all do you know what I mean mm, yeah no I totally agree I was just going to say because I was going to think like actually oh, I enjoyed the music and stuff I really I haven't really thought about it I'm like, just in gross with everything that's sort of going on but obviously it feels quite fitting I'm trying to listen to the, the lyrics as well. Um, you know, we sort of know and get the idea of what the story um, is about. But uh, I think with other stuff coming to it, it's never felt too intense. It just feels just about right for what we're um, watching and trying to, to understand. Yeah, and I think the lyrics are actually quite audible. I think this is something I've criticised quite a lot generally just throughout songs that I can't make out the, the lyrics because I'm not the best at understanding them. But with this... I can, I can, I can for the most part. Um, mm. So it's working quite well. Yeah, I like it. And I, I like the guy's voice. I like the fact that even in a song like this, there's still that kind of catchy chorus. It's, it's I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, it's quite good so far. <laughs> Just a little kick around, you mean? <laughs> a little bit of a kick about it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what it was? It wasn't a factual problem. Never a side match. Like that, I, <laughs> it's not a definition I've got on that um, at all. Uh, it would probably more like to be a kick about. It was more a case of more like to be in But I don't know why it wouldn't have gone into a match potentially. But uh, there you go. So it was a little reference to it and showed a little bit there. Well, it was probably too many of them for, for it to have been a you know an never side match. It would have been like a, I don't know. 100 v 100 or something, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose not all 100 or <laughs> how many needed to be involved in the match. You could have had a few subs and uh, some may have just been singing Christmas carols, some may have just been watching. Um, so
just so messed up, isn't it? How like one day you could be playing football against each other, the day before you were trying to kill each other, probably did yeah. be killed. In, you know your different soldiers and stuff, the friends of people you were playing against, and then then you continue trying to kill each other the ne the next day, not even trying to kill each yeah. other. You actually, would have been killing each other. Mental. Yeah. It's like we said, when we first did Sam to the time, I said, oh, when we listen to some of their songs, and it, like, it's, it's just stuff I just don't think we would ever be able to really comprehend properly. Um, it's crazy to think. Um, and, but also to, some amazing stories as well. But um, yeah, just something we just, I don't think we can ever really, really for common, really. at the end almost so yeah i think so yeah um so we'll end it there um yeah that was that was pretty good um uh, obviously i think sabaton are really good for like if you're learning history at school i think you know if i was a if I, was a history, if I was a history teacher i'd say to my kids you know watch if you're teaching about world war one for example you know i'll say watch sabaton christmas truce and try to get them involved through through music especially for those people that like this particular genre of music, I think they'd be really interested in it. It could really help them to learn. <laughs> um, no, definitely, I think even if you if you're not a massive fan of that genre, I think, like I said, even like for us, it's not our go-to genre, but we still feel we can hear and understand the lyrics um, and still get something from it without actually having to enjoy it for the music side of things. So. Yeah, I've really got a lot of time for Sabaton. Really enjoyed um, everything that we've done with them, really. Yeah, because I was going to say, even though it's not really our go-to genre, there's not, not too much a dislike about it. I, I know it's classed as heavy mm. metal, but it's it's not the heavy metal that, you know, me and you would traditionally think of, right? It, it's, it's, it's just... Like, basically, if you're, having, if you're going to be singing about the war, or any war... I guess it does. It, it fits this style of singing. This style of music fits, doesn't it? Like if it was some kind of pop music or something, you know, what I mean? it just wouldn't, or, or rap or something, it wouldn't really work. It, this fits perfectly. Yeah, no, I do. I see how some drums could fit in some, but it does seem the most ideal, idealistic one um, for it. You would assume, but um, yeah, either way, time time, still getting a thumbs up for me. Yeah, big big fan of Sab Sabaton, really. We've listened to one of their albums, um, and now this song as well we've reacted to. So, yeah, I'm really interested in, in Sabaton, and and I'm learning as well. <laughs> so okay. the First World War, something which I don't know anything about, to be perfectly honest with you. Learned about it at school, wasn't paying much attention, didn't like studying. So, yeah, it's uh, interesting. Um, never too old to learn never too old to learn never too old to learn yeah so guys thank you for watching and we'll see you uh, again for the next one soon